Hi everyone, it's Thomas here from CO2Base.com. Welcome to this week's Commitments of Traders review. Today we're going to have a look at the 15th CO2 report of this year. And as usual, we're going to start off with the changes in commercials positions in just a moment. But before I do so, let's have a look at our new service, futurestradingguides.com. This is it. If you haven't yet checked it out, please do so. There's a lot of information on the site here uh, indicating the features of the service. You may try it out. And of course, you can look at the performance of the service as well. Okay, back to the review. Let's start off with the rough rice where we have a 15% change in commercials positions. Pretty large change, although we do see even greater changes in the past. This is a bearish COT change signal suggesting prices should decrease uh, early next week. Uh, interestingly, large speculators and commercials both are net short and only small speculators are optimistic about the market. This in itself, of course, can be considered a bearish uh, signal. If we open this five years chart, you may see how extreme the market is. You may see we're more or less in between the two extremes. The last one was this bearish extreme back in the second part of 2017. Since then, the stress level decreased. Uh, and now again, we're um, seeing a bit of an increase towards the bearish extreme side of the market, suggesting we may reach a significant extreme in a few weeks time. Uh, the next market we're going to have a look at is the Chicago wheat with a 13% change in commercial positions. There you go. Again, this is a bearish uh, COT change signal. Here we have commercials and large speculators, both net long and only small speculators pessimistic about the mar market. So interesting to see a little bit different picture over here. Jumping to the five years chart, you may see that the market is definitely much closer to its bearish extreme side. Uh, the last one was actually not that long ago. Uh, the major and unquestionably the largest bearish extreme uh, was back over here in mid-2017, uh, actually coinciding with this top in the market. Uh, the next market is platinum with a 11% change in commercial positions, a bit larger than average, but nothing too unusual. Uh, bullish COT chain signal and jumping to the five years chart, you may see that we are actually much closer to the bullish extreme side of the market. The last one was uh, back over here at the end of last year, uh, signaling well the bottom in the market and then prices jumped higher. Uh, so if this is it, or this could increase another for another uh, few more weeks, I don't know, but uh, it's definitely signaling an opportunity in platinum. Okay, let's move on and have a look at large speculator COT extreme and start off with the S&P 500 where we have an all time COT extreme and jumping to the five years chart. Here we go. So there it is. Uh, as you may see from the chart, this is a unquestionable bearish extreme, <laughs> very, very large. Uh, but before any, anybody comes to a very fast conclusion here, uh, I would suggest, as I always do, to see correlating markets such as the Dow and NASDAQ to see whether or not they support such a move. Uh, the British pound is our next market, 196 report extreme. Over there in large speculators, you may remember from last week's COT review that I was already talking about a bearish uh, signal from the COT extreme here. And you can see that prices still got higher. So. Um, of course, this just underlines the fact that COT extremes uh, develop pretty slowly and steadily. So it's hard to uh, determine uh, where's the the end to an extreme. Uh, one thing's for sure on this five years chart, you can see that uh, this was back over here in mid 2014, uh, the largest bearish extreme. And as you may see on the chart over here, that was uh, just the top in British pound. So underlines how well these COT extremes can uh, signal changes in the trend. Um, here, the only question is how long this extreme will widen before the trend actually changes. And we would see again, uh, the British pound falling compared to the US dollar. And the last market for this COT review is lean hogs with 116 report extreme and uh, large speculators uh, who just got uh, net short as you may see on the chart. Uh, jumping to the five years chart, everything becomes more visible. So it's an unquestionable bullish COT extreme. And you may see in the past how well these bullish extremes 
signaled uh, bottoms in the market. So here we should be expecting a rise in the market. So that was all for this COT review. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care. Goodbye.